Buenas, Tau Tau Marianas, Guahusi Clarence, and today I'm going to make a video on the types of spondylus shells. So on the left, we have a uh, Guam spondylus. Then on the bottom two, these are complete shells. Uh, then the far right is Pogan spondylus. And also in the middle right here, then we have tin and spondylus. So let's start off with the complete shells. These are very rare. It's very hard to find complete shells. I don't, you have to really be a collector to have complete shells. So as you can see, the, uh, the spondylus needs, a uh, needs, needs space to breathe and eat. So this part of the shell is open so it can eat and all that and this is another complete shell as you can see this one's supposedly from saipan uh, i'm not too sure where this is from but could be from pogan or saipan yeah this complete shell these are very rare these two then we have a nice purple spondylus very nice quality from pogan you can tell it's a uh, purple because of the outer rim, I'll show you a good example. The outer rim over here will be purple. And this is a pretty giant, um, Pogan spondylus. It's like a candy red striped with white stripes. Look how massive. It's about seven to eight inches. It's bigger than my hand. Uh, yeah, it's just massive. We tried to make it, we tried to make it to a necklace, but it's so uncomfortable. It's just massive. And look how thick it is. This is it's like at least uh it was at least two inches thick to drill. It's a really long time to drill. Then uh, we have two uh two uh Tinian spondylus from uh Mr. Mosca. Tinian spondylus. In my opinion, uh the Pogan spondylus is uh the most fresh and most vibrant because uh it just it just stays in the beaches and it's more fresh compared to the spondylus and the other parts of the Marianas where it takes a long time for them to be found and stuff. So Pogan is more fresh in my opinion and more see how vibrant this is. Oh, this is also one of my favorites. It's about a five and a half inch uh, purple. It's massive. I paid uh, a guy about two hundred dollars for this. And uh, I made I made these quarter size beads with I think Saipan spondylus. The quality isn't that good in my opinion because even though I made it, uh, I just wanted it big beads. It's really hard to find big spondylus beads. Yeah. Then we have this uh, this this uh, Pogan spondylus was about uh, I would say four inches wide. Then we we made it. My friend made it into a sanahi. Then. Uh, yeah, you can see how it, the holes is drilled like a sanohi. Then uh, here's another pogan spondylus. You can tell the difference in the striations and the striping. This is more darker than this has a lot of defined stripes. This is more, this is already sanded, I think, and polished, but you can tell the difference in they're the same kind of spondylus. All, you can actually see, oh, this is from Tinian. These are two are from Pogan. You can actually see uh, the difference in how this, the orange spondylus can be. Then uh, this is also from Tinian. This is like a uh, red and white striped, kind of different from all the rest I have. Then I'm not too sure where this is from, maybe a Pogan or Saipan, but this is what I was saying. Uh, you can tell from the outer rim that these uh, are purple and see how it's dark. I heard the darker it is, the more fresh it is. Not like we harvested live, but uh, you know, like it's less old. It's been on the beach and sand less longer. This is a nice uh, three and a half to four inch uh, Guam striped spotless, like a candy red also, but you can tell it's a different kind of candy red and see how the, stri the stripes are just not stri straight and this is, they're different. And uh, this is my la the last show I'm gonna show you guys is uh, this five inch, pretty big Guam 
reddish purple stripes one let's see how the uh stripes are not straight and they go a little curved yeah and uh that's about it just wanted to show you the types of spineless i have and thank you for watching